गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्रेड होम ऑल्टरनेटिव थियोरम टूडे विल डिस्कस मोर एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस थियोरम सो द प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व द इंटीग्रल इक्वेशन जी एस इज इक्वल टू एफ एस प्लस लैमदा इंटीग्रल जीरो टू टू पाई कॉज ऑफ एस प्लस टी जी टी डी टी फाइंड द जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन फॉर the function fs is equal to sin s and also find the conditions that the function f satisfies when this equation has a solution for the corresponding determinant of the system is equal to 0 determinant is equal to 0 means when the given equation has a solution corresponding to lambda as an eigen value so we are to solve this problem in two cases the one case when determinant of the corresponding algebraic system is not equal to zero in that case you will get a unique solution in the case when the determinant of the algebraic system is zero in that case we will have to use fredholm alternative theorem by which we get a solution by checking the orthogonality conditions of this function f with the solutions of the corresponding transposed homogeneous equation so firstly let us solve the corresponding homogeneous equation for this equation so let us consider the corresponding homogeneous equation corresponding to the equation 1 by putting fs is equal to 0 if we take fs is equal to 0 in this equation we get the equation gs is equal to lambda integral 0 to 2 pi cos of s plus t gt dt now cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so using the formula here cos s plus t becomes cos s cos t minus sin s sin t so we get the integral equation gs is equal to lambda integral 0 to 2 pi cos of s cos t minus sin s sin t into g t d t this is the corresponding homogeneous fredholm integral equation now by taking the terms in s outside of the integrals and taking the notations c1 and c2 for the two integrals we get the equation gs is equal to lambda into c1 cos s minus lambda c2 sin s here we have taken c1 for the integral 0 to 2 pi cos t gt dt and c2 for the integral 0 to 2 pi sin t gt dt now let us write the corresponding algebraic system so corresponding algebraic system is given by 1 minus lambda pi into c1 is equal to 0 and 1 plus lambda pi into c2 is equal to 0 now when the determinant of this algebraic system is equal to 0 in that case we have two possibilities either we have no solution or we have infinite number of solutions so let us take from here if we have both c1 and c2 is equal to 0 in that case we will get trivial solution but for the non trivial solution we let us take c1 not equal to 0 if c1 is not equal to 0 in that case from here we can see 1 minus lambda pi will be 0 it means lambda is equal to 1 by pi from here and similarly if we have c2 not equal to 0 in that case from here we get the value of lambda which is minus 1 by pi so these are the two values of lambda which are the eigen values now let us find the corresponding eigen functions in both cases so let us take the first case when the value of lambda is 1 upon pi in this case we had c1 not equal to 0 and the value of c2 is equal to 0 now from the algebraic system we have the corresponding solution of homogeneous transpose equation which is the eigen function corresponding to the eigen value lambda is equal to 1 upon pi so from that equation we have by substituting the value of c2 here now c2 is zero here so we get by putting 
the value of lambda is equal to 1 upon pi here we get the corresponding eigen function we can avoid uh, the constant term here only the term in variable s that will be considered as the eigen function so the eigen function corresponding to this eigen value that is the function causes now we know that the given equation has a solution if the function f satisfies the orthogonality condition with the eigen function so transposed homogeneous equation so we can use that condition here so the orthogonality condition means the inner product of the eigen function with a given function f that should vanish so this is the condition that the function f should satisfy in order to the given equation has a solution so we have considered the condition for lambda is equal to 1 upon pi now for the second eigen value in the same way second eigen value is lambda is equal to minus 1 upon pi which we have obtained corresponding to c1 is equal to 0 and c2 non zero now again for this eigen value we have the corresponding eigen function by substituting the values of c1 and lambda now c1 is 0 and the value of lambda is minus 1 upon pi substituting the two values we get the corresponding eigen function by avoiding the term c2 by pi so the eigen function corresponding to the eigen value lambda is equal to minus 1 upon pi is given by sin s and now we can apply the condition that the function f should satisfy in order that the given equation has a solution and that condition is the function f should satisfy orthogonality condition with the eigen function so by definition of orthogonality condition we must have the inner product of the function f with this eigen function is equal to zero so integral from 0 to 2 pi f is into sin s ds is equal to 0. So these are the conditions which the function f should satisfy. Now according to our requirement we are to find the general solution in a particular case when we are given the value of function f is equal to sin s. So in this case again we will consider two cases either the determinant of the system that will be zero either that will be non-zero if the determinant will be non-zero we will get a unique solution and if the determinant will be zero we will use fred home alternative theorem so firstly let us discuss the conditions for unique solution in order to find the unique solution let us write the corresponding algebraic system as we have already discussed so corresponding to non-homogeneous uh, equation we have the equation gs is equal to sin s plus lambda c1 cos s minus lambda c2 sin s now again we have the corresponding algebraic system which is given by c1 into 1 minus lambda pi is equal to f1 here solving this f1 here uh, the integration of sin 2t that is minus cos t uh, minus cos 2t by 2 and substituting these limits we get 0 so this is the first equation corresponding to the algebraic system uh, from the second equation we have c2 into 1 plus lambda pi is equal to f2 f2 is integral 0 to 2 pi <coughs> sin square t dt again solving this integral sin square is 1 minus cos of 2t divided by 2 and integrating between the limits 0 to 2 pi the integral on the right hand side that gives the value pi so we have obtained the corresponding algebraic system of the non-homogeneous integral equation now the corresponding determinant of that system is given by 1 minus lambda pi and 0 in the first row of the determinant and 0 and 1 plus lambda pi in the second row of this determinant now expanding the determinant we get the value of this determinant which is 1 minus lambda square pi square now if this determinant is not equal to 0 in that case we get unique solution so unique solution is given by uh, corresponding to the values when lambda is not equal to plus minus 1 by pi now to
to find this unique solution from this equation because lambda 1 minus lambda pi is not equal to 0 so we must have c1 is equal to 0 and also because 1 plus lambda pi is not equal to 0 so from here we get the value of c2 which is given by pi upon 1 plus lambda pi so we have obtained the values of c1 and c2 we can substitute the values of c1 and c2 in the algebraic systems equation so we get gs is equal to sin s plus lambda into c1 a1s minus lambda c2 a2s here c1 is 0 and value of c2 is pi upon 1 plus lambda pi substituting the two values here we get the general solution of the given inhomogeneous fred -Hom integral equation of second kind this solution is unique and corresponding to d lambda is equal to 0 as we have already discussed in the first part of this problem that we check the orthogonality of the given function f with the eigen functions of transposed homogeneous equation so which we have already obtained in the first part the corresponding algebraic system in this algebraic system if we take c1 and c2 both 0 we get the trivial solution and if we take c1 not equal to 0 in that case we get lambda is equal to 1 by pi and the corresponding solution but when lambda is equal to minus 1 by pi in that case we already had c2 not equal to 0 and c1 0 so we can substitute those values here we get the solution of the given equation in this case also when the determinant of the system is 0 so in this case we can see that when the determinant of the corresponding algebraic system is 0 in that case we have two arbitrary solutions one corresponding to lambda is equal to 1 pi and one corresponding to lambda is equal to minus 1 pi pi so this is the way in which we can use fred -Hom alternative theorem to solve a fred -Hom integral equation of second kind in both cases when the determinant of algebraic system is 0 as well as in that case when the determinant of the corresponding system that is not equal to 0.